These babies all look healthy and well. Most babies in New Zealand are born healthy, develop well, and grow into strong and healthy children. However, there are some rare and very serious disorders that can affect the health and well-being of babies and young children. Doctors and midwives cannot detect some of these disorders when they examine babies, but they can be identified if the baby's blood is tested in a laboratory. New Zealand and many other countries routinely screens newborn babies using a heel prick blood test. With the parent's consent, a small sample of blood is taken from the baby when they're 48 hours old and screened for these rare but serious disorders. The heel prick test is not compulsory, but over 99% of babies born in New Zealand have the test. That's around 60,000 babies a year. Each year, screening identifies around 40 newborns with specific disorders that need immediate treatment. This treatment could involve special diets for the growing child or the baby being given medicine. Even though these disorders are rare, for the 40 babies a year who are identified through the program, if treatment is not started when the baby is very small, their health and well-being can be very seriously affected. Without early treatment, Permanent damage to the child's health occurs and the growing child could become disabled or have less chance of living to be a healthy adult. During your pregnancy, your lead maternity carer will discuss the heel prick test with you. How are you doing? Counting down the days. Not long to go now. I've just come to talk about the heel prick that we do at 48 hours or as soon as possible afterwards. It's great. Is that all right? Thanks. I'm just going to talk about the heel prick. We do that in the hospital, or if you're at home, I'll do it in your home. Okay. Now we just need some blood from baby's heel. They're not that impressed about it, but it's only a small amount that we take and it's quite quick. It goes to Auckland, to the National Testing Centre. Now, have you got any questions? So what are they actually testing for? They're testing for over 20 metabolic disorders. I'll give you a handout to read that will explain about the disorders we're testing for. Within 36 hours of baby's birth, your lead maternity carer will discuss the heel prick test with you again. Congratulations on your lovely girl. Thank you. You're happy with us doing that heel prick? Yes. Great, so you know that's to be done 48 hours after baby's born. It's a little pinprick, so it will be, she won't be that impressed about having it done, but mm. it's very quick. It won't hurt her. Only for a really short time. When baby's 48 hours old, or as soon as possible thereafter, the lead maternity carer completes the heel prick test. Okay. Sometimes it can be a little more difficult to obtain the baby's blood sample and the lead maternity carer may need to prick the baby's heel again to get enough blood. It stopped bleeding now so just with that pressure on there so it's good eh? She wasn't too upset? No, she wasn't too upset. Pretty square but it's it. The specimen is sent here to the National Testing Centre for testing. Thanks to the Starship Foundation, we now have the tandem mass spectrometer on which we test for 20 plus orders on a single spot of blood. This is one of the many ways that we test blood for too little or too much of the components or the related enzymes which can be indicative of one of these disorders. For most families, providing the blood sample is the end of the heel prick test. Hi Karen, how are you doing? We're doing good, thanks. And how's the feeding going? Oh, it's been much better than last time. If you do not hear anything about the test from your lead maternity carer, your baby did not test positive for the disorders that are tested for. Sometimes your lead maternity carer could ask if they could do a second test. This second test is needed in about 1 in 100 babies. 
In many cases, the second test is done because there was a problem with the way the first sample was taken or processed. If the testing does show that your baby has a health problem, then your lead maternity carer and your doctor will contact you to discuss the disorder and the next steps. Okay, everything's looking good, so we will see you and Kaiata next Tuesday. And if you need anything in the meantime, just give us a call. I'll do, thank okay. you. Okay, see you later, Kaiata. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> okay, see you see later. later.